but the, the outcome is really, if you can't face it, you will not be able to fix it. And stop this self-glorification on, on, on LinkedIn. My employer of the best, my, uh, best employer, you know, I've done for, I, I'm talking on this summit and that summit and you say absolutely nothing. Um, because employees see through it. They see through your inclusion and diversity agendas. They see through your well-being agendas. When you overlook the 60 hours work week and you give them a Fitbit or a Calm application. And this is where employees say, oh yeah, HR has lost it again. They don't want to work the 60 hours. Fix that. And that's why employees are upset because you guys are doing the small bare minimum instead of fixing the big issues because that requires skills that requires negotiation skill with the stakeholders that requires strategic planning so i can restructure the whole workforce by not spending more on payroll but still managing the working hours and still getting the job done that requires collaboration that requires adjustment that requires conflict because you're going to have to deal with people who, no, 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 this is how we always did. Okay, get out of my face. If this is how you always did, you always abused your stuff, then you should not be here. So put your effort in there and trust me, employees will recognize it. And when employees start embracing you, they are very reasonable. That they will understand that there are things you can't do because we can't do everything. And then when your employees are good, the higher management will see that too. So you will have to work with everybody at the same time, unfortunately. So remember your purpose is to serve the business, protect the business, but how you do it is by doing right by employees, supervisors, managers, and leaders. And how you do right by employees is by guiding and training and coaching the supervisors, managers, and leaders in terms of their people management practices. So when I had restaurant managers and FMB directors going over time and saying, but this is, I need, I don't have enough stuff. They have to work and they accumulated a thousand hours over time. And I sat down with them and I'm like, okay, it's done. I'm not going to remove your head. How can we make that? How can we reduce? And I literally spent two months with that person doing the duty roster. I can't remember when was the last time I did duty roster. Even when I was a manager, I handed it over to my supervisors because that's the last thing I want to do. Teaching him how to do the duty, or not teaching him, but looking at how we can do the duty roster in a way that we are reducing the working, the overtime hours, and we're not accumulating more. So everybody's sticking to their um, working hours, right? And it took me two months for the person to understand how it works and not him not going back to the old habit of, yeah, yeah, yeah we just stay overnight or, or over time. This is where we want to see HR. Get your hands dirty, work with your mid-management, work with your leaders, and this is how you transform your employees' experiences. And when they are all good, this is what you show, that's how you support the business.